Good afternoon, and welcome to the Church of the Holy Trinity in Juneau, Alaska, as we pause in the middle of the day to pray for the world. You can join in by going to our website, trinityjuneau.org, clicking on the Noonday Prayers link, and scrolling down to Thursday. Blessed be the Lord, who forgives all our sins. Whose His mercy endures forever. As children of your redeeming purpose, who are called to share Christ's suffering and be made like him in his death, we offer you our praise. Christ, give us the grace to grow in holiness, to deny, deny ourselves, ourselves, take up our cross, and follow him. The psalm for today is Psalm 43. Give judgment for me, O God. And defend my cause against an ungodly people. Deliver me from the deceitful and the wicked. For you are the God of my strength. Why have you put me from you? And why do I go heavily while the enemy oppresses me? Send out your light and truth that they may letter to the Corinthians. Am I not free? Am I not an apostle? Have I not seen Jesus our Lord? Are you not my work in the Lord? If I am not an apostle to others, at least I am to you, for you are the seal of my apostleship in the Lord. This is my defense to those who would examine me. Do we not have the right to our food and drink? Do we not have the right to be accompanied by a believing wife, as do the other apostles and the brothers of our Lord and Cephas? Or is it only Barnabas and I who have no right to refrain from working for a living? Who at any time pays the expenses for doing military service? Who plants a vineyard and does not eat of any of its fruit? Or who 
mother tends a flock and does not get any of its milk. Do I say this on human authority? Does not the law also say the same? For it is written in the law of Moses, you shall not muzzle an ox while it is treading out the grain. Is it for oxen that God is concerned? Or does he not speak entirely for our sake? It was indeed written for our sake, for whoever plows should plow in hope, and whoever threshes should thresh in the hope of a share of the crop. If we have sown spiritual good among you, is it too much if we reap your material benefits? If others share this rightful claim on you, do not we steal more? Nevertheless, we have not made use of this right, but we endure anything rather than put an obstacle in the way of the gospel of Christ. Do you not know that those who are employed in the temple service get their food from the temple? And those who serve at the altar share in what is sacrificed at the altar. In the same way, the Lord commanded that those who proclaim the gospel should get their living by the gospel. But I have made no use of any of these rights, nor am I writing this so that they may be applied in my case. Indeed, I would rather die than that. No one will deprive me of my ground for boasting. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. Lord, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. O oh God of grace and mercy, give your blessings to the Diocese of Alaska. Watch over our churches, sustain our people, strengthen our leaders. Through the Holy Spirit, guide and guard the diocese, keeping it always under your care and protection. Let us be a loving family, serving you in faithful devotion to the gospel of your Son, Jesus Christ. Give your blessings to Mark our Bishop. Give him a spirit of courage and right judgment, a spirit of knowledge and love. Let your Holy Spirit be his companion. Let your gospel be always in his thoughts. May your presence in his life be a light for all to see in every good work for the building up of your people and to the glory of your holy name. Give us the blessing of your example. Help us to follow in the way of Jesus today and every day. Give us compassion at the center of all we do. Compassion for ourselves as disciples still young in faith. Compassion for others as members of our own family and God. Let us become examples for others as so many others have been examples to us through your love and for the sake of your glory. Watch over all elders and the brothers and sisters of the Society of St. Simeon and St. Anna. If any are in a time of sorrow, sickness, or need, give them the touch of your healing hand. If any are in times of joy, thanksgiving, or fulfillment, give them the song of angels to praise your name. Let us be your servants in this life, just as we will be your sons and daughters in the life to come. I invite you to add your prayers to ours.
for an end, pray for an end to war, especially this war in Ukraine, that peace may abide with all the people. And we pray earnestly for an end to this pandemic. Amen. Well, the person we were commemorating, the sake of commemorating, I actually remember because I was alive when he died. <laughs> in fact, I remember all the hoopla going on in the news when Oscar Romero was assassinated. He was born August 15, 1917, in El Salvador. And he went to seminary, but the family had some hard times and he had to leave. In fact, he went to work at a gold mine. And then he went back to seminary. They sent him to study in Rome. And he came back to work in El Salvador among the poor. He served as an administrator of a church. And he started an alcoholic anonymous group in San Miguel. When he was appointed bishop, neither side was particularly, I think, too happy. Especially when he began to protest during the Salvadorian Civil War. The, he protested the military government and what they were doing to the people. He protested about the, the left-wing radicals who were continuing to egg the uh, war on. Um, he complained to the Pope that there were far too many assassinations going on in El Salvador. He pleaded to the American uh, government to quit sending military aid, but the American government ignored him. He continued to send all sorts of things. Finally, I guess he just got a little too far afield for the people, especially when it was the, they later uh, figured out that it was the radical left that had him assassinated. And he was shot to death March 24th, 1980, while he was celebrating Mass in a small hospital chapel near the, his cathedral. He, is, he was honored as a martyr at first and then became an actual canonized official saint, October 14, 2018. Um, he has a statue at the Grove Westminster Abbey. They have a whole bunch of statues there that commemorate 20th century martyrs, and he's one of them. He's the patron saint of El Salvador, and all of the Americas, Christian communicators and persecuted Christians, and is a co-patron of Caritas International, which is a confederation of Catholic relief development and social service organizations that are all over the world, whose missions are to build a better world, especially for the poor and the oppressed. Almighty God, you called your servant Oscar Romero to be a voice for the voiceless poor and to give his life as a seed of freedom and a sign of hope. Grant that we, inspired by his sacrifice and the example of the martyrs of El Salvador, may without fear or favor witness to your name, to your word who abides, your word who is life, even Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be praise and glory now and forever. Amen. May God the Father bless us. May Christ take care of us. May the Holy Spirit enlighten us all the days of our life. The Lord be our defender and keeper of body and soul, both now and forever to the ages of ages. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Working and praying, may we walk in the way of the cross each hour of this day. Amen. Amen.